Hi Virgo, it's your honest home girl, Kay Shanique, and this is your intuitive timeless reading. So when you see this reading, this reading is for you. Take what resonates, what doesn't leave for another healing homie. Um, with that said, let's get into your intuitive message. So Virgo, some of you guys are wondering if you should get a personal reading, get a personal reading, especially for your birthday. Um... It'll give you some insight, some clarity on, on what it is that you need to do. If you would like a reading from me, my information is in the description box below. If not, find another reader that you resonate with more and get a reading from them. For others of you, if you just recently received a reading um, and it's recorded, go back to that reading. There's something that is going to give you the push that you need or the enlightenment or confirmation that you need to move forward with something. Some of you guys are also moving forward in a new uh, beginning, some type of emotional beginning. So this could be with a new friendship. This could be in a new partnership with the love um, option or can't, I've heard candidate. Like you guys is on a love show called for the love of Virgo. I am so done with y'all guys. So some of you guys could have been dating multiple people and you're finally like, okay, Virgo has finally picked the person that they're going to move forward with in a relationship with, that they're going to offer love to, that they're going to, um, you know, just, it's like, all right, I'm going to open my heart to you type of energy. Because I feel like for a long time, Virgo, whether it was nine uh, weeks or nine years, um, or nine months, you've been really guarded. You've been not wanting to really speak to people, but I feel like the more we get towards your your season, it's like you kind of lighten up and you're wanting to, you know, start things fresh and over and just move forward and leave the past in the past and let bygones be bygones. If you guys have been wondering if you need to take a couple of days off, should you take a couple of days off? Take the days off, Virgo. If you're going to take some days off, at least let it be for your birthday because you're worthy of that. You guys also remember, too, that, you know, good things are coming your way, especially in your season, too, right? You're going to get birthday gifts left and right, this time the third. You know, people are going to acknowledge you, you know, all the good stuff that you love to have. Because I feel like when people acknowledge you and things like that, it makes you feel good. And why wouldn't it make any, it wouldn't make anybody feel good, right? To be acknowledged. And I feel like that's what, that's what you need to get that boost, to move forward, to keep going, to keep pushing more. Um, I do feel too, for some of you guys, you need to rest. You really do because you've been pushing yourself to literally exhaustion and you don't want to end up sick and not listen to spirit because spirit's been trying to tell you to take a break to rest and you haven't and then you're going to end up sick and then that's when you're going to be forced to sit down and to rest. Um, I do feel too, for a lot of you guys, you are determined to get something done, okay? And you're gonna get it done. Don't worry about it. Don't stress yourself out over it. Just do your due diligence like you normally do and everything will work out for you, okay? Some of you may be also thinking about proposing to someone. So you, um, you know, you're like, I gotta get it done, I gotta get it done. Is she gonna say yes? Is she gonna say no? Just know that you're worthy and you deserve to receive all good and always and think that and know that because that's how you attract it to you, right? If you guys resonated with that intuitive message, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. That's all I ask of you guys. It really does help my channel grow, and I really appreciate it. Um, how I do my readings, if you're new to the channel, well, welcome. And to my returning healing homies, what's up? I do your intuitive message first, and I get into the divine feminine. In, <laughs> divine feminine. In, <laughs> the divine feminine energy, then the divine masculine energy. And then I get into your random messages at the very end. So if you want to be nosy and find out the tea on what your person thinks of you, because that's included in the random messages, stay tuned to the end. Some of you guys could, your, your communication could be, you know, off, maybe something astrologically speaking, messing with your communication at this time. So be mindful to think before you say, take your time, don't rush. Um, healing homies, if you guys like more content from me, I do offer Zodiac horoscopes, collective live readings, and daily root awakenings on my Instagram. So follow me there at the Honest Homegirl. 
And again, if you need a personal reading, I am open for readings. All that information is in the description box below. But let's get into your divine feminine energy, whether you're male or female, okay? Remember, we embody both energies because it took a mother and a father to have this, right? So we have both their energies within us. What's going on with Virgo? Yeah, some of you guys are taking a leap of faith and just going out on a whim to go have some fun, to go play some games, okay? Some of you are like, F it, I'm dating them all. Especially after you've been hurt. You're like, F it, I'm going to just be a player. Some of you are looking for victims. <laughs> Listen here for the love of Virgo. That's going to be your reading for the love of Virgo. You guys is out here, okay? For others of you, you are, you know, deciding, hey, you know, why not go have some fun? Why not? Figure out what it is that I love to do or makes me happy. Um, what is like you you have like a list of things that your inner child always wanted to do, and you're like looking on how like, like looking online to see how you could do it, um, when you can do it. I do feel too like you guys have finally um, said, you know what, life is a game. And you're willing to figure out why you went through the pains, the, the disappointments, the frustrations uh, in life. Why did you sit there and why was you such a fool? Why did you allow yourself to play in this person's game? And the thing is, you're realizing too that you may have hurt yourself more than anybody did because you participated in the games that this person was playing. Or you're realizing the games that you played and the way you was acting like a fool, it really caused a lot of pain, hurt, harm, and injury with other people. Okay, you're thinking about, um, it's like the games people play is still in your head. Or the games you played with others, it's like you're realizing it now, okay? I do feel too, for some of you guys, you may have felt foolish for doing something that caused you a lot of pain, but you're going to get a message behind that. Like if somebody hurt you, they're going to be contacting you. If you hurt them, you may be wanting to contact them. If you were acting a fool and you may have said or didn't did something you may be contacting these people wanting to communicate with them some of you may have made an investment that you really weren't proud of and it disappointed you i do feel too there's a gemini libra aquarius male that is going to they want to communicate with you about completing something or coming together with something like whether they want to commit have like a commitment and stop playing these games or they want to end things for some of you is to end it so that it's done you've finished this karmic cycle because you could be doing this to this gemini libra aquarius male yourself like you're like you know what this is it I'm done dealing with you, no more. And then for others of you, it's like communication coming in, whether it's from you or them. And it's like, okay, we're going to sit there and this is it. We're going to do this. For others of you, I do feel like you're trying to bring peace and harmony into your life so that you can continue to grow as a person, so that you can continue to heal for yourself. I do feel too like you guys may have had a lot of challenges and obstacles in your way. And it's like, you need to just be at peace. You need to be able to just make all these tough decisions so that you don't have to deal with them anymore. Um, you may have, you know, some hard decisions to make and you really don't want to, but you have to. And it's just like, you know, it is what it is. Once you finish it, then you'll feel better about yourself because it's like it's not hanging over your head anymore, right? For others of you, you may be looking for a Cancer Scorpio Pisces male to complete a karmic cycle with them or to complete a job with them or they need to complete something for you. This could also be you figuring out how you can control your emotions 
all right this is you trying to figure out how um you can be more supportive towards other people nurturing towards other people or this could be to yourself you know this could be you as a male saying you know what i really need to sit there and really make myself feel complete inside and not go looking for other people to complete me and if you're female too this is the same thing it's the energy of you completing yourself you not you know looking for other outside people influences to complete you as a person some of you you could be telling a gemini libra aquarius male that you, they complete you it's like you complete yourself but they also they compliment you it's like they're part of your aesthetic or something like um i do feel too whatever it is that you um want to like pursue and it's something that's been heavy heavily on your mind it's like you're like okay now i'm gonna do it so go do it okay um i do yeah see because you guys are you, you're thinking about all the things from the past that you know you could be speaking about this now like you went through all this pain all this uh depression or the cheating the lying and the everything the stealing and and it's like you're speaking about it now. And it's like you could speak about it and think about it, but you have your emotions in check. It's like you know you healed from this situation because when you speak about it, you don't stutter. When Because back in the day when you probably sat there and spoke about it, you stuttered, you got angry, your, your blood was boiling. And now it's like now that you've healed from it, you see it from a different perspective now. You've gotten your aha moment about it. Now you are emotionally, you use your emotional intelligence to to talk to other people about your pains because you know you telling your story is going to help other people. I do feel too for a lot of you is like you um it's like you're in a state of wonder right now. It's like your brain is a light went off in your head and it's like you want to absorb all the information. You want to you want to tell your story, you want to speak about your pains, you want to you want to you want to do fun things. You want to do more research. You want to go back to school. You want to complete all these projects. And you may have a lot going on in your head, but I do feel like things are being illuminated to you. I do feel like you know, okay, I need to stop playing games with myself and I need to be a little bit more disciplined with certain things that I want to complete in life. Let me stop playing games with myself and, and eat right. Let me stop playing with myself and, and work out more. Let me stop playing with myself and do what it is that I need to do for me. Because you, you could have been just playing games with yourself, okay? And it's like, it's time for you to sit there and make a decision. Are you going to grow or not? Are you going to sit there and keep going through these obstacles and these challenges or not? Are you going to sit there and take a vacation or not? Like, stop playing these games and, and do what it is that you need to do. And see, the sun came back out when I said that. Stop playing these games with yourself. Because I feel like a lot of these games you're playing is with yourself. Virgo. Because I don't think Virgo let people play games with them. But I think you're playing games with your damn self, Virgo. For the love of Virgo, okay? <laughs> That's y'all reading for real. That's the name of it. For the love of Virgo. Y'all guys over here, like, look. Y'all all still on a job interview. Fuck you talking about. I ain't make a decision yet on none, none of y'all. Y'all can have seven people playing this game with you. Trying to win your heart. I'm over it. <laughs> y'all are funny as hell. It's funny. Yeah, see, you guys, it's like, all right, I'm, I'm going to stop playing these games and I'm going to hit this reset button. But you're at this crossroads because you're, you, you're wondering if it's going to be a good thing or a bad thing. And you should know by now, Virgo, whatever it is that you want to manifest, that's what you think about, okay? Because this is the energy of you can make whatever things good or bad. It's up to you, however you want to play it. However you want to play the game, Virgo, it could go left, it could go right. Some of you guys, you're pregnant. You have an idea. Some of you, you literally had sex, and that that night after you had sex, you knew you were pregnant. It's like the minute you, it's like the minute that sperm hit the egg, you just knew it. Like, I'm pregnant. Oh, shit. Like, you, you zero days old <laughs> being pregnant. Like, 
most people don't even know when they're pregnant, but they wait till like three weeks to 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 four months when they start finding out symptoms and 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 then you know two months later you know or whatever it's like but you knew like like that like soon as it conceived soon as the sperm hit the egg you was like oh shit i'm pregnant you could have had you a wild night virgo and then found out your butt was pregnant Or got somebody pregnant like you knew immediately some of you you found somebody and you knew immediately that you wanted a child with this person like you didn't even have to think about it you just knew it you knew that this person was gonna be your forever person and y'all was gonna have babies together and you you entertaining the idea as we speak you are entertaining this idea you were like oh yeah Things could be kind of stagnant with because we got the divine feminine energy here. So this is either you or this is the person that you're dealing with. If you're a male um, or if you're a woman dating women, men dating men, this is your divine feminine energy here where, you know, things may have slowed down between the two of you because she's focusing on what she needs to do for herself. OK. She's focusing on what she needs to do for herself. That's why things may have slowed down. That's probably why she's not talking to you as much, okay? Because she's focusing on what she needs to do to move forward with her, okay? And she's possibly giving you the time and the space to do what it is that you need to do for you too. If you're thinking about if you could start over, you can start over every day that you wake up. And the choice is still up to you on which way do you want to go. You want to do things, go to the left or you want to go to the right? You want to act a fool or you want to sit there and take a chance on yourself and do what it is that you need to do? I feel like you're in the energy of deciding things right now. Some of you may be in the energy of I could say fuck it all right now or I could sit there and keep pushing. For some of you guys, you're asking yourself, should I stay in the dark in the devil's playground or should I come to the light? Should I believe or not believe? Should I give them another chance? Should I not give them another chance? Should I take this leap of faith? Should I not take this leap of faith? But it's ultimately up to you. And it's like you're in this indecisive energy for far too long. And Spirit's like, do what you got to do. Do it for the love of Virgo. Some of you guys have a daughter. And you you are going to have like this forever love, this unconditional love, this commitment that you made. It's like when you decided to have a child, you knew this was a commitment that you was going to be a mother for the rest of your life and even after your life. You knew that that was a commitment and that and you were you did it when you were ready. Or this is what you're telling yourself when you have a child and that child will be a daughter um, for some of you. You know when you decide to have this child, this is a, a lifetime commitment. Or you need to know that, that this, this is a lifetime commitment with this child. You also have to understand, too, when you have children that you have a decision to make. Are you going to repeat the same cycles that your parents put you through? Or are you going to go another route and, and do start a whole new cycle and do things totally different? Some of you are questioning if you're breaking these cycles with your daughter or are you continuing any patterns with your daughter? There's a reoccurring thing always happening with your daughter as well. Do something different. Switch up what it is that you do because your daughter could be getting accustomed to, to one thing or a couple of things. And it's like, if you want her to grow do something else, implement something else. I feel like your child um, may not even be uh, one yet. So if your child is not even one yet, but they're doing things because it's like repetitive behavior, like you, you teach them things, repeating it over and over, but it's like your child is getting bored now. So implement something else into the mix of whatever it is like like when i had circle time with my daycare babies we always did the days of the week we always did our numbers and counting we always sung certain songs but 
each day I implemented other things, something different to shake things up so that it kept them interested. Okay. For others of you, it's like you, you keep going on this hamster wheel on if you're going to entertain something or if you're going to go on an adventure or this trip. And it's like, just do it already. It's like you want to do it. You keep thinking about it. That means you want to do it. Do it. It's not like you haven't thought about it already, Virgo. Like you've been thinking about it. So just do what it is that you want to do that you want to have fun with doing. Like that's the message, okay? Just do it. For some of you, um, you're worried if your pregnancy is going to be a good one this time or a bad one. That's ultimately up to you. You can manifest what you want to manifest right now, Virgo, especially in your season. Some of you are taking time away from others so that you could just focus on you, bettering you. And others of you, you're like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to take this leap of faith with this marriage. Some of you are thinking, too, I was foolish to sit there and get married. Either way, I, I feel like the decisions that you're going to make are going to last for a very long time. So make the best decisions that you need to make for yourself at this time, Virgo. And if that means you need to take a break, take some days off, figure it out. And these decisions could be with love. They could be with your children. These could be with, you know, business. You want to be grounded. You want to be your best self when you make these decisions and when you start over on things. So be mindful of that. So let's be a little nosy and see what your person wants to tell you what they think of you and this could also resonate with you wanting to tell your person okay so let's see for the love of virgo we want to take those because those are sticking out okay we're going to take those see we got come and see me somebody wants you to visit them virgo so go see them take that trip all right you'll be happy that you did I'm hearing, but I want to relax. So if it's a trip that's not going to allow you to relax, then don't go. It says, in my feelings, I made a mistake. I did it all for you. Let's try this again. Psych. Don't leave. Overthinking. Mistaken my love. Your biggest fan. Funny how things change. Leave me alone. Love at first sight. Small time dudes, I have bigger dreams. Come closer. Give me a second chance, please. Forgiveness. I'll ride for you. Pussy on agua. Forbidden fruit. Please come back. I believed you when I when I was told not to. Solid. Getting closer to God. Red bottoms. Trying to keep it on the low. I better not catch you with anyone down bitch you hurt me but i won't say so it's dry because i'm not into you going to see the lady and twisted mind some of you could be dealing with someone that could be bipolar schizophrenic they just can't make up their mind you are in their energy so it's like you're embodying their energy where you can't make up your mind either and that's probably why you're like you know what i gotta put hit the pause button on you because your confusion is not about to sit there and confuse me. I know what I want and I'm about to go get it. But others of you, you know, you may want to invest in some um, expensive quality shoes or this could be gifted to you for your birthday. For others of you, you know, you have people healing because of you or you're healing because of someone. Someone is very possessive over you and they think you're forbidden fruit. Um, you have people that are willing to ride for you and be there, you know, you may have met someone, like I said, and you were like, no, that's going to be my wife. That's going to be my husband. You just knew it. Um, you have people, again, overthinking over you or you over them. And you or the that person is like, you're in your feelings. And it's like, I don't think I want to sit there and, and try anything new or, or get back together type of energy. Because for some of you, you're like, you know what? You're not good enough for me. <laughs> and it's like... This person probably keeps trying to call you and they want you to pick up when they call and you're like digging their their phone calls, Virgo. All right, let's get some Oracle messages 
I'm telling you, y'all guys is funny as hell. Y'all will entertain somebody for a long ass time and then all of a sudden you just ignore them and cut their ass off. And we have father healing. It says your personal power increases as you give your father related issues to heaven. So a lot of you guys, like I said, you may be wondering um, if you are breaking generational curses and stuff like that. So if you know um, you didn't have your father in your life, uh, you made sure it was your business to be with someone that knew how serious of a commitment it is to have two parents in a child's life. For some of you, you are realizing that, you know, especially if you have a daughter, you know the effect it's going to have on your child if you are not the male in their life showing them how a man is supposed to treat their daughter type of energy or son on how to, you know, grow up to be a man type of energy. But the thing is, as long as you sit there and, you know, one, accept what's happened in your life when it comes to you and your father and your relationship, then two, you know, forgive them, you know, because they are human beings just like you are. They have the right to make mistakes. They have the right to make bad choices. They have the right to sit there and heal. They have the right to not heal. Um, th th it's free willpower, right? But you have to forgive them, not for them, but for you. Okay. For some of you, you may want to start healing your relationship with your father um, because that's going to deepen the connection with the two of you. And then in, in return, that helps your connection with other men in your life, right? Uh, if you can't do that, I always write letters, right? Like with my mom, I my mom passed away when I was young. So I didn't have like that physical connection with her, but I wrote letters all the time to her, you know, how I felt about things and, you know, what was going on in my life and just releasing all the things that needed to be said. And then you can burn it, you know, and that helps you heal. But you have to actively be doing the shadow work, you know, get you a journal and let that journal be about your relationship with your dad from beginning to end. Write your story. And also include the things that you would love to say to them, even if it's you cursing them out at the end of the day. If that's how you felt, you need to say it and write it out. But don't do it in person because, you know, you're working on yourself, right? You're not going to sit there and do that. But you want to heal from this energy because it's going to help you in the future. And then also healing this energy if you have a son too. All right. You don't want to become what you despise the most, Virgo. Let's get an affirmation for you. Personal growth. So that's what you're doing. You're growing, Virgo. Okay, and as you grow, you obtain more abundance, more resources, more networks, uh, you know, your net worth growth is going to grow the more you grow. All right, even in your relationships with people, this could be a relationship with the father or the mother of your children. And as you grow, that relationship can grow and evolve, even if you guys are not together. So let's get some homegirl advice for you, and then we'll wrap it up. We have, you are more than enough. We have, stop telling people your problems if they can't give you solutions to them. Summer, okay, is still prominent for you guys. A spiritual bath is needed. And three weeks from now is a prominent time for you. And go get a natal chart reading. So you guys may want to get a personal reading and a natal chart reading from someone and gift that to yourself for your birthday so that you can be prepared for the year to come, okay? And protection, because that spiritual bath came out again. So definitely sit there and protect your energy, protect your thoughts, and make sure it's of things that you want and the things that you desire. But I love you, Virgo. Bye.